Viva Ronaldo, Viva Ronaldo, Viva Ronaldo, running down the wing, here United sing, Viva Ronaldo. Yes, as you can hear in the background, welcome back to the Straight with End. This is your post match reaction to the game against Spurs that we had last night. And let me just say a few things. It's raining here in Cape Town and it was raining goals for Manchester United and of course the GOAT Cristiano Ronaldo himself. 807 goals and counting. In professional terms, he is the all-time top goal scorer in football history ever. Let me just repeat that. The all-time goal scorer with 807 goals and counting in all-time football history. He's the GOAT. We should not be mentioning Messi here. He is the GOAT. Messi is good, but we speak about Ronaldo right now. What a man. What a performance. What a match that we experienced last night. And sorry for those who were expecting a post-match reaction immediately after the game. However, we in Cape Town and South Africa, we have a thing called load shedding, which means the government decides to put off certain areas electricity for about two and a half hours or so, and then another area gets to go on, and vice versa. And they call this saving in terms of energy and power, but it's something that has been in our country for years, and it's something that we have, we've come to accustomed to live with. So apologies for those who were waiting for the video. But here we are, and we are doing the post-match reaction. And as I've said, wow, Viva Ronaldo, what a performance. He definitely is man of the match. That's without a doubt. A 37-year-old pushing the boundaries, pushing the limits, you know, showing people that he's far from past it. So for all those who said he was the problem, that he's the one who should go, He's the one that's causing the animosity in the dressing room. Think again. This is what he does time and time and time again. He simply, simply just enjoys scoring goals and helping his team win, no matter who he has played for. And as I've said, yes, it is raining. So the sound in the background, I told myself, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to try and delay anything any further. You know, this is the world, this is mother nature, you cannot escape it, it is here. Ah, it's even getting a bit louder now, but not really concerned about that. So, moving on to the actual game. I was a bit surprised by the starting 11, I have to say. I told you guys in the preview, I don't want Maguire to start. And he started. And we'll get to exactly what happened if we all saw it. Ah, that's an okay game, a decent game and then goes and scores an own goal. Simply, simply for that. I mean, he just needs to position himself better and he gets to kick that away without hassles. But again, awkward positioning, falls to the ground, boom, and it flicks off his foot and goes in. Our captain, he is so lucky to be playing with Cristiano Ronaldo. So, so lucky. He basically saved him from embarrassment, saved the club from embarrassment, saved the team from embarrassment. But that is Ronaldo. He leads on the pitch and off it as well. That is him. I've said it before. He should probably be our captain. He should be the one to be leading the team. But let's move on into the game. In the early stages, I think it was in the first 10 minutes or so, we had the ball quite well. And we kept on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. But Spurs sat back with the back five, as Conte always does. And they just wanted to counter attack us. Truth be told, they did get in a few times, but they were either offside or our defending was well. And we did well enough to keep them out and to keep them at bay. As the half went on, it seemed as if we allowed them into the game. They had too much possession for my liking at Old Trafford. And we kept on sitting back and trying to contain them when we should have been pressing them more and trying to, you know, counter press them but we allowed them the ball and that we allowed them the ball especially after the first goal wow what a goal fred flicking it onto ronaldo boom rocket a thunderbolt 
it just takes one moment. Ladies and gentlemen, Cristiano Ronaldo, that is who he is, and that is what he does. Again, I have to say, apologies for the rain, it's just falling on the roof quite loudly, but as I've said before, it is by the nature, nothing we can do to escape it. And, you know, what a goal, what a boost for the team. We deserve that goal to go ahead because we started the game well. We started the game, you know, with intensity. We wanted to attack him from the first minute. We wanted to try and break him down. But as I've said, that backfire was difficult to break down. But Cristiano Ronaldo, the goat, doing the business and putting us one nil ahead, deservedly. But then, for some reason, we sat back again and we allowed position of the ball to, to Spurs. And because of that, basically, a cross was put in and handball by Taylor's penalty came puts it away. Nothing more simpler than that. And besides the penalty, Spurs were dominating position. And it was something I did not like. But immediately, we continued to press and we continued to work against them holding position. And we put a position of our own. And then it happened. Key moments, critical moments. And this is why a defensive midfielder is needed. Matic gets the ball in deep, plays it over the top to Sancho, who gets the ball, lays it on the plate for, for Ronaldo, and he taps it in and says, thank you very much, two for me, and that is brilliant. That is what we can do. That is the type of football we can play, if the team is up for it. I said, we can win this game. I said, we need the three points. And of course, the players turned up, and we won the game. And we went into halftime, leading 2-1. And it seemed quite secure. We seemed solid. We seemed good besides the penalty. And we seemed that as if we were in control of the game, even though, as I've said, Spurs had possession in the first half too much to my liking. When the second half started, it was like re re resuming the first half. Complete ball playing by Spurs. Weybeck and Bentancur continuously changing the game to either wing, which we tended to not see. And... You know, this is where I want to speak about Marcus Rashford, who, once again, a very, very bad performance. He didn't do anything going forward and refused to do anything in defence. And when he did, he was always too late and chasing back. His positioning was completely off. And, yeah, we're not too sure what's happening with Marcus Rashford. But Ragnik said himself, if he wants to leave, he can leave. But he needs to do what he does in training and put it into practice, into the games itself. So... You know, then, of course, I spoke about Harry Maguire as well. Had a decent performance in the first half. And into the second half growing, he seemed comfortable. Up until, you know, Spurs decided to put a bit more pressure on us because they were chasing the game. They were 2-1 behind and they needed to ensure that they, you know, can get that equalizer. So they pushed and they pushed and a ball was played in from the wing and Maguire put his body on the line, but to no avail because he was stretching and the ball deflected off him, off his foot, into David De Gea's net, 2-2. And as I've said, it is simple. Just body position yourself better, move into a better position within the box itself, and you can either just stop the cross or completely kick it away for a line. Yes, it was simple, but that particular own goal shows that he's not good enough. That he is not good enough to play for Manchester United and I don't, as I've said before, he shouldn't even be our captain. That's self-explanatory. Moving along and the game got a bit more intense. Um, Spurs tried to push and push and push, you know, to try and get the winner. But then we regained control of the game. We started playing the ball. We started being more dominant, you know, in possession. And to our credit, you know, we got the corner. Tellez puts the ball in. And who else but the goal to seal his hat-trick, Cristiano Ronaldo, rising highest, putting it in to the net. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That is Manchester United. We never give up. We never give in. Absolutely beautiful. A match that we can look at performances and say that we could have done better in certain moments of the game to control it more, that we should have ensured that Spurs... It's not allowed into the game by giving them confidence to play on the ball. But results is what matter. The three points is what was important, especially for the race in the top four. We needed that. And it is a good confidence booster 
for the game ahead with Atletico Madrid on Tuesday in the Champions League, which is an even tougher opposition. But we'll definitely do a preview on that game soon. I want to go from back to front. De Gea, an OK performance, both of the goals. There's not much that he can do about it. He dived the right way for the penalty. And of course, you know, with Maguire's own goal, completely caught him off guard. No questions asked by him. He had an OK performance and did done his job when he was able to do so. Um, in, with, in defense, I want to speak and say Maguire, an OK performance in the first half. Second half, not so good. He seemed to slack off and just be, you know, that same old Maguire that we know that continually makes calamitous errors and poor decision making. He, he had an OK game overall. Varane next to him, absolutely beautiful, done what he needed to do and didn't seem phased and looked good, you know, after coming back and, you know, entering the team and starting as he should. The low on the right hand side allowed for us to have an attacking outlet but looked good defensively. Yes, here and there he was being overlapped and being, you know, outnumbered with two on ones, but that is basically because Rashford and Sancho in certain moments chose not to track back and help him. But he did okay, you know, besides for um, the goal that came from his side where Maguire um, basically own goal, kicks it into his own net. Perhaps he could have done better, but he also had a decent performance. Tellez at left back, yes, he um, gave away the pen, you know, but other than that, he had a decent game, you know, putting crosses into the box trying to get the ball over the top, you know, defending well, no less. There's many a moments when he completely won the ball cleanly, showed his aggression and showed his defensive capabilities, you know, that made Spurs decide, you know what, we're going to keep going down, you know, United's um, right-hand side by the low because it seems easier that side. It was only in the first half that they tried to target Tellez, but other than the penalty, Tellez was doing quite well. In midfield, Pogba had an okay game, and yes, he had a, a nice bold hit, you know, fantastic to see that. And he had a decent performance in midfield. Here and there, he was, you know, slow to get to either Weibeg or Benton Kerr to close them down, you know. But when he was on the ball, he tended to do what he needed. And, you know, as I said before, an okay performance. Not decent, not good, an okay performance. He, we know that Pogba can give us more than that. But it wasn't as easy, and... You know, Pogba did what he needed to do and perhaps, as I've said, could have done better. You know, Sancho, a good game, was very quiet in the opening stages of the first half, but grew into the game and got the assist that he always loves to get and started to be more and more confident, thus, you know, pushing Tottenham further and further back. So, a good game by Jaden Sancho. As I've spoken about Rashford, a bad performance once again. Questions to be asked about his performances of late. And I think he needs to have a look at himself in the mirror and find out exactly what is going wrong. Because he cannot keep starting and not performing. Or coming off on the bench and not performing. He didn't do anything, sorry, constructive going forward. Didn't take a shot, didn't make a key pass. Didn't find himself in a position to, you know, help the teammates, the, the team go forward. So, very, very confusing and bad performance by Marcus Rashford. Of course, Cristiano Ronaldo, man of the match, a hat-trick once again at Old Trafford. His second hat-trick, you know, for Manchester United, which is beautiful. You know, it happened in his return to Manchester United, 807 goals and counting. And of course, you know, Matic had a good game, you know, a brilliant ball by him over the top to Sancho for Ronaldo's second. And he looked too decent in midfield before being taken off, you know, for Ilanga, which was needed because we needed to go and get the goal. That's why Ilanga was put on at 2-2. And funny enough, just a moment, Ragnik wanted to put on Ilanga before Spurs scored the second goal, but they took the line out quickly and it was not possible. And of course, you know, Fred, a good, good, should I say, maybe a very good game by Fred, where he was looking decent in defense, composed on the ball, you know, even put, you know, a, a nutmeg Benton core for one of our attacks where we should have perhaps scored. Um, but nevertheless, Fred had a very good game. And perhaps you should pull up a game like this again on Tuesday against Atletico. 
we know what Fred can do and we know the levels that he can play at. It's just inconsistent. At times he will have this game and then the next game is completely missing. So let's hope and pray Fred can continue this performance is up in the next game. And, you know, with Gavani coming on, didn't do much, but, you know, closed down, you know, ran where he needed to run and, you know, just shut down generally what he was expected of when he came on. I thank you guys for joining me. Viva Ronaldo for this post-match reaction. We needed the three points. We deserved the three points. We were the better team overall within the game. Let's look ahead now to the next game, which is Atletico. But let's enjoy this one. Let's feel this positivity. Let's push this um, throughout the team and allow this to filter and fuel us for the game against Atletico. Continue to join us on Twitter, on TikTok, and on Instagram. And also continue to like, subscribe to the videos on YouTube so we can grow the channel and get to at least 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That is the goal that we have here at the Stretched Inn. Thank you guys for joining me. That is it. me, Session Johnson, from the Stretched Inn. Goodbye. Viva Ronaldo! Viva Ronaldo!